Hello everybody, I'm John, this is JP Strategic Investments, and today we're gonna to talk about another contract announcement from Patriot One Technologies. This one, they were awarded a contract to create an artificial intelligence powered full motion video detection application. Now, before we get into exactly what that is, how I think it's going to affect the company and their stock, one thing to note here is that while they do say to create, that's the, the wording they use in the actual headline, the wording in the announcement here make it a little bigger for you guys um, the wording in the announcement is they were awarded a contract worth nearly 1 million Canadian for the Canadian Department of National Defense to further develop an artificial enabled full motion video analytics platform or application so that makes it kind of sound like something they've already been working on and developing and if you look down at the uh, actual schedule deliver date that even further kind of confirms that Extract AI is scheduled to deliver the solution to the Department of National Defense by March 31st, 2022. That is in just about a month here. So definitely seems like something they've been working on. They just got to put the finishing touches on it and it'll be basically ready to go, ready to be delivered to the DND. So one, obviously great to see that they're making further improvements into their AI platform in regards to video analytics. Also, you know, we should see this 1 million Canadian uh, in the current quarter's earnings, right? Because if this is being delivered on March 31st, that will be in the current quarter and they should receive that full $1 million as revenue for the quarter. So definitely gonna help, you know, as far as cash burn and as far as either uh, reducing the need or, or delaying further need to raise capital, right? So great things there. Also, one thing I will note here, um, it says it will be first used at, for initially here, right? Initially for DND applications, but in the future across multiple domains, okay? So basically starting out with the government, with uh, the military, and then moving out into the commercial and the private sector, right? Um, I think this is actually a really great thing for companies specifically in kind of the security and AI industry to do starting out with the government and then moving to the private sector. Um, Palantir is a good example of that. Basically, especially for an AI platform, what this allows them to do is they can really, one, get good funding for their R&D for the product development because the you know governments love to spend money on national defense you know they have uh, a lot of money to do so and they really want to make sure that you know they have a good military so they're gonna spend money so you can get access to that funding to develop your products but also especially with an ai platform right if you've been following uh for example tesla stock and the development of their fsd or their full self-driving ai platform with an artificial intelligence platform, one of the main ways, if not the main way that they actually improve and learn is by feeding them a bunch of data and using that data to train the platform and to improve the platform. And with uh, going into you know military and government kind of applications first, you're going to have access to tons of data. I'm sure the you know Canadian military and the Canadian government has tons of video analytic data that they either need analyzed real time or it's already been recorded. They need you know that to be analyzed as well. They have access to all of that video data that they can use to very quickly and very efficiently train this platform so that when it goes out into the private sector to you know commercialize that product, it's a very robust product, ready to go, and should um, you know lead to pretty strong sales. So. That I think is a really good thing for them. Just to kind of go through this further, um, you know, again, product will be initially used in the military with the Canadian Armed Forces to detect, classify, and track, as well as geospatially and textually log objects of interest to improve situational awareness. So, you know, just as far as what this application actually is, they use the word uh, full motion video analytics application, okay? Um, and from some of Peter's comments down here, right here, I'll just read you kind of what he says. Uh, this advanced object recognition technology can be applied in countless ways from providing high levels or higher levels of safety to people on streets through video camera systems in specific areas around the world to integrating it with drone cameras to survey large crowds of people. 
Imagine the value of very high threat detection and categorization in environments where people, cameras, and other elements are in motion. So what it seems here is basically uh, taking kind of their current VRS solution with their extract uh, kind of integration, right? The video analytics that they currently have and improving them and adding on top the ability to also do what they're doing now better as well as doing it while the camera is in motion. So for example, on a drone or if you have a camera that is stationary but it's panning across a certain location. And just for context, there's a whole wide variety of reasons that doing that with the camera in motion is way more complicated and, and complex than if it's just a stationary mounted camera, right? Because if the camera is moving and you're trying to figure out maybe how fast somebody is walking or you know which direction something is going, if the camera is moving, you have to take into account the speed of the camera, the direction of the camera in relation to whatever the object you're trying to track is so that you can use that to calculate actually the true speed that that person is maybe walking down the street or the true direction that that object is moving, right? Because if a drone is maybe banking um, and making a turn, which, you know, you could have changes in elevation, changes in speed and direction, the camera has to take all of that context, all of those data points, and use that to actually calculate what is happening in front of it. And that's where this platform it is going to seem to be able to do that. And it seems, again, like it's almost ready to go because it will be ready, you know, at the end of March. That's the uh, delivery date. So being able to do all those things with the camera in motion obviously opens them up to a whole new market, really increases their total addressable market like they kind of talked about in the corporate presentation. So again, I think this is a really good opportunity, one from you know government contract standpoint. Obviously those are great, you get good funding, they get to develop their product, but also increasing their total addressable market, increasing the quality of their product so that when they do go out and commercialize this, you know they have an even better product to offer. So personally, overall, another great contract win for Patriot One Technologies. The stock uh, was green again today on a day where a lot of stocks were down. So you know, we have a lot going on with the Russia Ukraine situation that could affect stocks, but hopefully we just continue to see these contract wins and these contract announcements. And, you know, looks like good things are happening and good things are ahead for Patriot One Technologies. But if you think I missed anything, if you have any comments, what your thoughts are on this announcement, definitely leave those in the comments below. Other than that, I will see you guys next time and have a great day.